are in listen-only mode. Good morning, and thank you for attending our webinar this morning. My name is Jim Guinan. I'm an annuity sales director here with Insurance Agency Marketing. And today we're joined by Taylor Davis. He is a regional director with Oxford Life Insurance Company. And Taylor's going to talk to you a little bit more about the product line, the annuity product line that Oxford has to offer right now. And in a few minutes, I'll turn the presentation over to Taylor, but uh, we want to thank him for his assistance today and information in advance. I do want to remind you that our webinar will be recorded today. So for some reason, uh, you cannot listen to the program or have to leave during. We will have it available for uh, your review at a later time uh, today. Um, in the meantime, I did want to uh, talk to you a little bit about what's new here at Insurance Agency Marketing, some of our incentive programs, and then uh, very briefly, uh, we'll turn this over to Taylor. So again, thanks for your, your attendance today. We know you have other things you can do too, so we'll try to be on point, and we appreciate that. Uh, first of all, I want to talk to you a little bit about a couple ways that we help uh, build your business. Uh, and while partnering with us here at Insurance Agency Marketing, and one is our Referred Producer Program, and this is our way of saying thank you for referring other producers of life and annuity business to us here. So when that referral contracts, there's a little bonus, and then as they continue to write, you would receive, uh, in essence, a override on that business ongoing, and that's unlimited. So. We do appreciate it. We spend every year, as, as Taylor will tell you, uh, as insurance companies do, thousands of dollars recruiting agents. And one way to uh, make that more effective and efficient is to refer other people. And we do appreciate that. And then, of course, our marketing reimbursement program, still going strong. Uh, for dollars put into that account for premium that you write, uh, both annuity and life. Now, not all business counts, but uh, I won't go into that right now, but most of your business will count towards the marketing reimbursement. Um, that is to be used at a point in the future to um, help with expenses, for example, a lead program or maybe a seminar program or E&O. So any business expense you have, you turn in the receipts and then we'll reimburse you 50% of that cost. Uh, this balance is ongoing, so as you continue to write and it builds, you can use it for um, at at some point in the future, uh, and it doesn't expire at the end of the year. So that is a unique program. I have shopped around to find if other IM or other brokerages offer that. It's hard to find. Okay, our new producer bonus is the third incentive program that's going strong still, and that's for writing business at these levels in your first six months of uh, newly contracting with us here at IMES. So as you can see, um, for $100,000 of annuity premium in your first six months, already you've earned a $750 cash bonus. So these are thresholds. Uh, obviously, the more business you write, the bigger the reward for you. Again, very unique um, for writing uh, target premium, single premium whole life, and fixed index business here at Insurance Agency Marketing. Our back office support continues to be strong here. That's one of our um, staples here at Insurance Agency Marketing. Um, our service to you as the producer and um, in helping you streamline your business and making it more efficient for you. Um, our creative department continues to get interest in areas of branding and website design. So for example, if you've thought about uh, improving a website or getting a website, you wanna talk with Josh or Tasia in the creative department. Uh, we've also had an influx of interest and usage of email marketing. So again, if you're thinking about ways to reach out to people, to prospect better, more efficiently, and um, uh, you know, make it, making it very cost effective, I would visit with Josh or Tasia, give them a call, ask them about what can be done and give them some ideas of what you may want to do to improve your business as we come into this end of this year and looking to the start of 2018. 
Uh, if you've not seen our website, uh, you may want to go out and look. Now, all of us, mar all of the marketers uh, have this website address in our email signature, and you may have seen it. If you've not been on our website, I would check it out. We have some great tools that you can use um, around the clock. So if we're not available to help you with an income rider quote or perhaps a term life quote, you can access that through our website. We also have our current annuity grid, uh, which is about 40 some pages. It has the best, best rider payouts. Um, it also offers the best multi-year rates available. And we update it, uh, we try to update that and make sure it's updated every week. So again, there's a lot of tools out there. Our webinar schedule is out there. So if you've not received that, you can go find it there. And of course, um, all of the things that I talked about, the incentives, those are there for you to review too if you need you know, need to review them again. So again, check our website. It's www.imsinc.com. That's I-A-M-S-I-N-C.com. Retirement Analyzer is a program that uh, helps agents with a, a very comprehensive uh, way to understand what their clients' needs are. Um, if you have an interest in doing more than just a fact finder, if you're interested in delving into this a little bit more, we do have a webinar on this uh, fairly often. And if you'd like to get more information on the details of it, I would recommend to talk to Marcus Soler. He's in the annuity department. He is the person that I would go to to visit more about that. Um, but we have had interest. He can go over what it offers to you in more depth and what costs are involved. Our IMS Wealth Management has continued to grow. Uh, last year, we kicked off the uh, RIA division here at Insurance Agency Marketing. It's IMS Wealth Management. Um, we have found that uh, this is an area that we feel is going to grow and continue to grow. It's our way of reaching out to uh, individuals that want to grow the business, not just in the senior market, but want to work with people of all ages, um, managing their assets and accessing clients they did not have before. If you have an interest in getting a Series 65 and becoming a wealth advisor, would just like to know a little bit more about what's involved getting into that and, and how it operates as a whole, I would recommend to talk to Charles Hiring Jr. Um, he is in charge of that department and would be glad to have a conversation or um, even get you some information. I do want to launch a question here for you. And uh, a poll question, if you like, on... And I'm not finding it. Here it is. Sorry. Uh, if you'd like to get a little bit more information about the IMS Wealth Program, um, just answer yes. If you're not, that's fine. Um, we have seen quite a bit of growth again. Like I said, the IMS Wealth Management team has been assembled now for a year, um, taking on uh, new advisors and helping those individuals grow their business. So if you'd like to know a little bit more, Please answer yes. We could get you information for now if you'd like or if you'd like a phone call or both and uh, see if this is an area that, that may work for you. If you're already a Series 65, you know, I would say that this would be something for you to explore based on the number of portfolios available and the low fees that IMS has uh, to offer, um, you know, some of the lowest fees in the industry charged to a client. So. We appreciate your response to that. And I'm going to close that poll for now and we'll move on. Um, our Life and Annuity Academy uh, has um, continued to, to work well for us and our, for our producers. Our next installment of this is September 6th through the 8th. We have now this week completed our uh, selection process for agents that are attending. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, but we do have another academy that will be in November. We do have the dates. It's November 1st through the 3rd. It will be at um, Athene's home office in Des Moines, Iowa. Again, this is a two-day producer training. Um, 
I don't have a lot of time to go into the agenda of it. You can see some of the things that we accomplish in this. Uh, again, we're always updating the program, so it's not the same presentation, same people visiting and talking to you as a producer, but this program is designed for those people that are actively writing fixed annuities or life business. It's not for newcomers to the business or newcomers to those products. So uh, I will say uh, we are always looking for good producers, about 35 to 40, and um, it's an all expense paid trip. So we are selective in who we invite to this, but it is well worth your time. Again, we're trying to make this uh, a presentation for you, some information to help you grow your business along with us. If you have interest in that academy in November, please answer yes to that question. Like I said, we've been accepting registrations already, um, and um, that will be the last academy for this year. Not sure when the next one will be. My guess would be would no earlier than next March. So again, if you'd like to know more, have a question about it, get a sample agenda, we can get that out for you. Also, after the um, webinar is over today, you will get, if you've not already, an email from Sarah, and Sarah will send you a link that has the registration and more information about the, um, the academies that we have to offer. So we appreciate your responses to that. And lastly, I want to talk to you a little bit about our marketing summit, which is scheduled for next February. As you can see, February 25th through the 28th in Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, we are looking to invite um, top producers for this. Um, it will be both social and, uh, you know, business meeting uh, together. Um, it is a fantastic destination. If you've not seen anything about Boulder's Resort and Spa, uh, it is a fantastic location. Um, and um, again, for your business, uh, it is an invite, so it's not a qualification anymore. But uh, you know, something to look forward to as a as a producer of with insurance agency marketing. Okay, so that's all for me for now. And now I want to turn this over to Taylor and uh, so that he can tell you a little bit more about what's going on at Oxford and what Oxford has to offer. So, Taylor, I'll, I'll let you go from here. Perfect. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can. You bet. All righty, perfect. Well, well, thanks again, Jim, for uh, having me on here, and thank you guys for joining uh, like Jim said, you guys have a lot of stuff um, on your plate throughout the day, and uh, you know I appreciate it, and I know Jim does too, um, having you guys hop on here and, and learn a little bit about Oxford annuities. Um, in this webinar, we're going to go over a little bit about who Oxford Life is. Um, if you're not contracted with us, um, or you're maybe just looking into a different annuity, we're going to kind of go over who Oxford Life is, um, and then go over our annuity platform, which is our MICA, and then we have... Uh, Pretty much three fixed index annuities. Uh, we just launched a new one called Select Series, which I'll go over as well. Um, and then at the end, we'll go over some questions. Uh, but first, wanted to introduce myself. Um, as Jim said, uh, Taylor Davis, Regional Director here at Oxford Live. Reach out to me anytime um, if you guys have questions about any of these annuities that we're going over um, or any products in general. Um, if you're a life agent, med sep agent, um, whatever it might be. Um, you can give me a shout anytime. Direct line 866-323-4336, followed by my cell phone number, um, and then my email address there under. Um, again, I'm here to help you guys out um, in any way you can. Um, so reach out to me anytime. So again, who is Oxford Life as an insurance company? Um, of course, we're a leading provider of senior-oriented life insurance, Medicare supplement, and annuities. Um, we were founded in the Grand Canyon state of Arizona in 1965, and we still remain domiciled um, in downtown Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, we also offer products and services that promote financial security and allow individuals to live with dignity during their retirement years. Our corporate structure here at um, 
Oxford Life is a little bit different than uh, maybe some other carriers that you see. Um, at the top, you'll see Amerco. That's our holding company. And then over to the left, you'll see Oxford Life and then other notable carriers as well, North American um, and Christian Fidelity Life Insurance. Over to the right, um, you also see a pretty uh, well-known name, which is U-Haul. Um, that is the moving and storage company you see on about every corner um, here in the U.S. Um, that's pretty much our parent company um, when it comes down to it. Everything goes through them um, with Oxford Life. Um, so uh, if you want to look at some of our financials here at Oxford Life, due to being with U-Haul, we are publicly traded under the ticker symbol UHAL. Um, so you can look at Oxford Financials under there um, or say and. Uh, it also helps with the client. A uh, client says, well, who is Oxford Life? Um, you can kind of go into a little story of, well, their parent company is U-Haul, um, and you can, again, pull up our finances and all that sorts of stuff. So it just kind of gives a good brick-and-mortar feel um, to who we are. Uh, we are located right next door to them in downtown Phoenix. Um, so if you get supplies from us, it'll come from the U-Haul warehouse, actually out in Kansas. Um, so everything pretty much um, sums up Oxford and U-Haul together. Um, if you have any questions on that, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to talk to you a little bit more about it. Financial strength. Um, our AM best rating is A minus excellent. Um, it was about five, six years ago. We were B double plus. Um, the reason we were B double plus uh, is actually U Haul was going through some changes at the time, and uh, AM best looks at their financials too. So uh, we dropped down to B double plus, uh, but it did not take long. I think maybe six to a year um, to hop back up to that A minus excellent. Um, so we just got uh, A minus excellent again for this year, and um, hoping to uh, maybe get that A rating next year. Again, our financial strength, like I said, A and best, A minus excellent. Unique and competitive products, which we'll go over the annuity portfolio today. Uh, we also offer single premium life, very competitive, and then a very competitive final expense as well, uh, and then med sub. Uh, top level commissions producer and customer service. Um, we have training webinars such as this one, um, individual service from me or uh, Chad Kinesis, who's in the um, eastern region can help you out as well, and underwriting help when you need it. Um, if you do write life insurance, um, we have underwriting help uh, on, on the clock all the time. So if you have any help or any, any questions about that, let me know. So let's dive into our annuities. Uh, the first one we're going to go over is our multi-select series. This is our MIGA. This is our fixed in fixed annuity that we offer here at Oxford Life. It's guaranteed growth. Um, interest rates are guaranteed for the period you elected issue. Uh, when the multi-select reaches the end of the initial guaranteed period, the owner must make an election. Uh, we'll notify in 30 days, but they usually get the letter about a week and a half before that 30-day anniversary, uh, before that 30-day starts. Um, the owner can decide to do a combination of the three options below, uh, can decide to renew the contract for the same guaranteed period. So if they do have a, let's just say a five-year multi-select, that next one will have to be a five-year. Uh, they can't renew for a three or a seven. Um, they'll have to renew for that same duration that they had before. Option two, the owner may decide to annuitize the contract for a minimum of 10 years. Or option three, the owner can decide to withdraw all or just a portion of the contract uh, with without surrender charges or MVA. And our surrender charges um, with our multi-select, uh, pretty uh, straightforward, three through 10, all of them start out at 10, drop down 1% each year to follow. Now, if um, they did have a five year and then that five year was up, they got that 30 day letter and they want to do another five year, it's going to start that over again. So it'll start at 10, it won't go to, go to four and down. Um, it'll start back at 10%. Just want to make sure you're aware of that. So withdrawing money. Um, we offer systematic withdrawals of interest in the first year. So you can't do um, interest withdrawals in the first year. Um, and then, of course, in the second through whatever duration there is, it's 10% free withdrawal um, going forward. But again, you can do um, interest only in the first year. We do uh, have waivers with uh, withdrawal charges on this product, uh, one being terminal illness. If, a, uh, if your first diagnosis is terminally ill more than one year after the policy date, you may surrender, withdraw this policy 
for its accumulation value without reduction for any surrender charges. Uh, we also offer home health care. Um, if you are first diagnosed as chronically ill more than one year after the policy date, you're receiving home health care and have been the previous 90 days, you may take surrender charges or surrender withdrawals from this policy without any charges. Uh, we also offer nursing home benefit. If your first diagnosis is chronically ill more than one year after the policy date or confined to a nursing home and have been there for previous 90 days, you may surrender withdrawal uh, from this policy without any surrender charges. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, a little bit of the specifics on the multi-select. Um, the minimum for this product is 20000 um, and our max is 350. Um, we are very, um, I, what's the word, maybe strict on the uh, um, on the premium amount that's allowed for the 350. Uh, that is our max. Uh, we do not go over it. So just going forward, if you do have a case for 360, um, Oxford Life uh, won't be the place uh, to put it. Our max is 350. Just want to make it uh, very clear um, on that max. And again, here's our here's our uh, guaranteed period. As you can see, uh, when ages are older, um, some of those uh, durations uh, get knocked out. Um, so if they are age 80, uh, they can only get three through seven year. Uh, 79, three through eight, same with 78, um, and so forth. Um, just want to throw that out there as well. Going to keep this up here for a little bit. Um, this is the map. Um, Jim, I think you might have it, but uh, I'd be happy to send it to you if you don't. Um, agents, you can look at this, um, see where uh, the multi-select is offered, and then you can also see where the waiver withdrawal charges um, are available. Everything in red shows where the waiver withdrawal charges um, are available, and then uh, everything in green um, is state specific um, to it. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. But as you can see, Mississippi and Alabama, uh, we don't do any business in there. Same with Montana, um, New York, um, Vermont, and then West Virginia is kind of hit or miss um, with the products. But again, uh, this is just a map to show you where you can sell the multi-select and then off to the side you can see um, if it's a generic app um, or if it's a state specific app. Um, you can see all that there. So it's just a great resource to use um, if you want to pull it up real quick. You have a, a client in a different state that you might not be used to writing in. This is just good to uh, show what you need. So uh, multi-select, there's our, our fixed annuity. We're going to dive in now to our fixed indexed annuity. Uh, this is our Royal Select. This is our Silver Select. And then our new Select Series. Uh, if you've been with us for a while, we used to call um, it just select um, at the bottom there. Now we're calling it select series because there is a three, five, seven, and 10 year fixed index annuity, which I'll be going over right here. Um, with the fixed index annuities, we kind of thought um, with the DOL um, and kind of off topic real quick with the DOL uh, for qualified money, um, there is an attestation form that has to be signed. Um, and sent in with the application. And again, that's only for qualified funds, um, non-qualified. There's nothing that needs to be sent in. Uh, we also have an 8424 form um, that can be, uh, is for you, uh, for your purpose um, to, you know, keep it your office. Uh, but we just wanted to make that available so you guys don't have to go out and find one. Uh, but we do also have an 8424. And again, the only thing that has to be sent in uh, for qualified funds is an attestation form. Um, Jim, I think he has all that, uh, but if you don't, I'd be happy to send it to you as well. And again, now here we are at the Select Series. Uh, we kind of decided, uh, it was pretty much after the DOL came out, we said, well, there's no three-year fixed index annuity out there. You know, why not be the first ones to do it? It's a great product uh, for someone who's maybe wanting to do a fixed index annuity, but not not wanting those you know, five, seven, ten-year um, durations. So we came out with a three-year. This three-year can have um, the income rider on it, um, it has very good caps, and also very good commission. Um, so just an all-around good product, um, just to roll out um, and see how it how it does. I mean, there's no one else out there with it, so um, I'm glad Oxford Life was the first to come, come out with it again. You can put the uh, income rider on it, um, and then the waiver withdrawal charges are built into it, even the three-year. Um, so again, Good product. If you have any questions, let me know. 
the uh, uh, accumulation strategies that we offer um, here at Oxford Life are pretty easy um, to understand. We have a fixed account bucket, um, and then we have a monthly average strategy, um, and then we have an annual point-to-point -point strategy. Um, and each one of them, Silver Select, the monthly monthly average strategy, and the annual points point will be the same. Um, we just do that to make it simple uh, for you and the client. Um, so again, on each one of them, Royal Select, uh, the monthly average and the annual point to point are the same percentages. And then on the um, select series, same for that as well. Um, I'll pull up, uh, let me see if I can do it real quick here. I can pull up the rates. I'll do it at the end here. If you guys have any questions, I can pull up the rates. I don't have them on the email or in this um, slideshow, but uh, be happy to pull them up at the end here. So under withdrawal charges um, with uh, all these products, um, is it starts out at 10% and drops down to zero. So say if you're in the three-year fixed index annuity, it starts at 10 and then 8, 9, um, and so forth. So again, it's kind of like the multi-select. Uh, the duration you pick, you start with 10 and drop down from there. Um, and then uh, we'll also be going over Royal Select and the Silver Select have a bonus on it. Um, that bonus is vested throughout the policy. Um, so, of course, if they take ex excess of 10% withdrawals, um, the non-vested bonus amount will be recaptured by Oxford Life. Liquidity features um, with the uh, fixed index annuities, again, 10% free withdrawal. After the first policy year, surrender charges are waived for the following issues, same as the multi-select, terminal illness, nursing home, and home health care. And then annuitization options, uh, period certain payments, equal payments for up to 20 years, lifetime income, equal payments for the annuitant's lifetime, lifetime income with guaranteed period. So here's something that, uh, again, maybe you're new with Oxford, maybe you've been with us for a while um, and just getting a refresher on our products. Um, we used to be a 6.5% roll up on the income. We changed this at the beginning of the year, and we put 6.75% roll-up on the income rider, um, and that is for every one of our products from Royal Select, Silver Select, and the whole Select series. So we wanted to make the income rider a whole lot more competitive um, uh, than we used to be, and, and it really is a lot more competitive. We also changed something else that I'll show you here shortly, but uh, before we're going to the next slide, something different that Oxford Life does um, that other carriers don't is we take um, the cost for the income rider, which for ours is 95 bips, and we take that and multiply it by the accumulation value. Um, so it's a lower number. Most carriers take that 95 or 1% um, cost for the um, income rider and multiply it by the income rider. Um, so that 95 bips would be multiplied by the 6 and point. 6.75% roll-up, <clears throat> so it's going to be a higher number, and then they take that from the accumulation. Here at Oxford Life, we do everything on the accumulation side, so that 95 bips will be multiplied uh, by the accumulation value and then taken from the accumulation value. Um, so, again, our, our cost is low, uh, but it's even lower how we how we um, do the, the math behind it. Um, so we take it again from the accumulation value and we don't multiply it by the income account. So uh, again, guaranteed lifetime withdrawal benefit, it is optional. Um, the bonus goes towards both the accumulation and the income rider. Um, so if you do the Royal Select, that 8% will go straight towards the uh, income rider and then be added on that 6.75% thereafter. So if you do have a client who's specifically looking for income, Royal Select would be the one to go to just because there is that 8% bonus um, up front on the income um, that it, it'll have a higher income than, than all the other products. Automatic step up, of course. And again, the fee for the rider is 95 bips, and that is taken, multiplied by the accumulation value, and then subtracted from the accumulation value. And again, at the beginning of the year, we wanted to make our income rider a lot more competitive. Um, so what we did was we increased uh, the payout factors. We used to be on a five-year basis, so it used to be 50 to 55. Now we went from 50 
and each year thereafter it increases. Now it doesn't increase um, once you turn on the income rider, but it does every year uh, moving up. So you don't have to wait. You know, if you're 50, you're going to have the same payout. Um, you know, factor if if you were 53. So we changed that, made it a whole lot more competitive. So we are very very competitive on the income rider aspect of this product and of course we're competitive on the accumulation value with those high bonuses and very good caps product features uh, for the fixed index annuity issue ages 18 to 80 duration we have a 357 10 year on the select series um, the row select of course is 10 and then the select series or the um, Silver Select is a 10-year product as well, but again, we just launched the Select series, so it's a 3, 5, 7, and 10-year fixed index annuity. Issue amounts, 10,000 um, is minimum, and again, our max is 350. Um, very strict on that max, um, again, with the fixed index annuity side. Debt's benefit, account value upon debt of the annuity and our owner. We do have an MVA on the product applied during, um, as you guys know, the surrender withdrawal charge period and only on amounts that exceed that 10% free withdrawal amount. Guaranteed lifetime withdrawal benefit. We've been going over it, something that, again, we were trying to make super, super competitive, and I think we did. Um, as you can see on the illustrations, if you pull it up on OxfordLife.com, we are very competitive um, with the income rider. Again, we increased it from 65 to 6.75% roll-up. And then our, our annual fee, the 95 bips, again, I'm going to pound this into y'all's head, 95 bips is multiplied by the accumulation value. So it's multiplied by a smaller amount um, than normal. And then utilization ages 15 and above uh, for the glib. So here's our Royal Select, Silver Select, and Select Series kind of drawn out for you. Um, again, Royal Select has that 8% bonus. That goes towards both the accumulation value and the income account value. Um, Silver Select has that 4% um, bonus, and again, that goes towards the income and accumulation value. And then our Select Series, um, this just has no bonus. It's just higher caps than the Royal Select and the Silver Select. Uh, but then again, it has a three, five, seven, and ten year durations. So if you have a client um, that wants a fixed index annuity, they just say, you know, ten year, even a five year, it's just too long for me. Throw them in a three year, see how they like it, um, and then also, you know, they can throw an income rider on there if they want. Um, but uh, again, it has very good caps uh, for being such a small duration on a fixed index annuity. And let me pull up. If I can get it here, as I'm pulling up, I'm just going to pull up the rates, but I'll do that here shortly. For the rural select, um, here's the map that shows um, where everything um, is approved and not approved. Again, you'll see kind of a, um, a thing with the annuities, Montana, Mississippi, Alabama, West Virginia, New York, Vermont, and, and uh, on this one, Connecticut, as well for the uh, Royal Select, are not approved um, in those states. And then, of course, the surrender charges, uh, withdrawal charges, aren't available in, in some specific states. Um, you'll see it on Oregon, um, California, I believe, just not too long ago. Uh, we got the nursing home rider approved. Um, so California does have the nursing home. Um, and then all the other states you'll see. Um, and then the uh, no MVA approved, we should be changing this. All states are MVA approved. <clears throat> there used to be a uh, reduction in commissions for those no, no MVA states, uh, but uh, now get rid of that um, kind of greenish, and uh, all states are MVA approved now. Silver Select, um, again, you'll see the same trend. Montana, Mississippi, Alabama, West Virginia, New York, Connecticut, Vermont. Um, are not approved, um, and then again, nursing home is in California. Select series, uh, this one, just because it's so new, we have some states that just aren't approved yet. I know Florida's right on the cusp of getting uh, getting approved, and, and so is California. Um, we're just waiting on those. So if you are in, in any of these states um, in gray, we do not have the 3, 5, and 7, and 10-year select series approved. But we do have um, the Royal Select and Silver Select approved um, just because, again, we launched this 
um, not long ago. Um, so we still are waiting on some of those big states that take a while to get things approved, like California and Florida. Um, should be here shortly, though. Um, I think uh, last I heard, Florida was, was very close, and then California was going to follow. So, again, if you're in those states, uh, we will have it approved. It's not like it's not going to be approved, uh, but we will uh, here shortly. Social media, um, we're huge for here at Oxford. Um, if you have any questions on, uh, you know, things of like, uh, you know, when are rates changing? Social media keeps you up to date uh, pretty much every day um, about rates, when they're going to be changing. Um, and again, we usually look at about the first uh, for rates even staying the same, um, either increasing, decreasing. Um, it's usually the first. This month we did do a mid-month rate increase. That's usually the only time we ever do any mid-month thing is if we're increasing the rates. Um, so, again, it's usually the first of every month is when the new rates come out. Um, and we do. We send out multiple emails. And then, of course, Facebook, Twitter, um, LinkedIn, all those show up um, showing what um, the rates are going to be. And anything that's coming up with it has to do with anything about Oxford Life, social media blasts it out. So follow us on social media um, to get up-to-date features. Um, sometimes I think people look at their social media more than email. So um, it's a good way uh, to be up to date as fast as you can with anything going on here at Oxford. Again, my name's Taylor, um, Regional Director here at Oxford. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free. Reach out to me anytime. Um, here's my direct line and then my cell phone and then uh, my email address there to follow. So, Jim, if there's any questions, let me know. Yes, uh, Taylor, there are a couple questions. Um, Perfect. So I'll, I'll um, ask those now. Um, is there, uh, just to confirm, is there a product training for all of the annuities you just talked about, the multi-select and then the the select series? Is there a product training required for all of those? The product training is actually built in um, to the contracting. Um, so if you're contracted with Oxford Life, you're good to go to write any annuity. Um, if you're looking to get contracted with Oxford, uh, you do have to be approved uh, before selling the annuity, uh, but it is all built into the contract, so you're good there. Okay. Um, another question was um, from an agent here is um, if the, uh, let's see, if we hit the maximum premium, can uh, there be two accounts on the same person? So I guess it's maybe detailing that maximum premium. Is that per owner? Is that how that? Yeah, it's per Social Security um, number. Okay. So say um, throw out, um, say there's a joint um, account for, for 200000 um, Mr. and Mrs. John Doe have, have a joint account for 200000 in that name. Either one of them now can can go out and get maybe 150,000 in just their name. But if they do another joint for 150, that's their 350,000 minimum or max. Right. Um, okay. So it is per Social Security number. Um, yeah. So if they have one case of 350,000, you know that's as much as they can put with Oxford Life. Okay. Great. Another question is: um, Are the fixed indexed products a true single premium? Um, or is there flex in the first year? There's no flexible premiums okay. um, in any of our products. Okay, so all true. And uh, you mentioned the income rider. Um, I wanted to just myself ask this because I'm sure this comes up, but that six and three quarters, is that compounded or single, uh, simple, I should say? Simple roll-up or is that a compounded roll-up? It's compounded. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, that, that yeah. makes it very competitive, very competitive. Very competitive, yes. Yeah. If, if they're waiting for um, the latter ends, you know, 8 through 10, you know, we're, we're up there one or two um, uh, at being competitive. Um, I will say, you know, if you turn it on year five, we're still very competitive. But, again, you wait until um, years eight, eight, 8 through 10, it's hard to beat us. Okay. And on that note then, so eight to 10 year deferral, is there a age of a client that you, you own that area, that space for? I mean, is there a specific age group that Oxford? Um, I would say, yeah, I would say 65 to 
five to seventy five um, mm-hmm. w- would be probably the most competitive um, taking income wise uh, but again I mean it, it really depends on, on how long they want to hold it for there, there I mean there's some that you know were number one when they turn it on in four years uh, it just really depends on the age um, that's why our our um, our tool our our uh, our tool that we use for illustrations is so simple um, and friendly to use. Um, so if they do have any of those, it, it, all it does, um, fortunately, um, it does only the income writer. So we don't uh, illustrate hypothetical um, on our illustration. Mm-hmm. All right. I do have another question for you, Taylor. Uh, does Oxford allow internal tent uh, 35s from one product to another? Um, y- yes, um, we do, but we do not allow surrender charges. Um, okay. you know, if a product has a, a 1% surrender charge, we're not taking it even with the 8% bonus. Uh, okay. we're just taking zero surrenders. And that would be, so if they wanted to exchange a multi select with the multi year and go to an index during the window period, that would be allowed, of course, as long as there's no surrender, you would go, they could go from one, from multi-year to a fixed index too? I believe so. Let me double check on that. Um, I I, I don't see why they couldn't, um, but I'm pretty sure they can. Okay. All right. Well, um, that's all for questions, but I do have a question. um, And that would be that um, if any of you would like to get more information on Oxford, uh, on any of the products that we uh, that Taylor talked about today, or to get appointment paperwork, or to get information on how to get appointed, uh, please respond to that poll question. I just launched it here a second ago. We'd be glad to get you more information on any one of the products. Um, their uh, multi-select guaranteed rates, which, by the way, I uh, you know we work with this every day with multiple carriers here at IMS, and I can tell you that Oxford's current fixed rates are some of the best in the industry, and uh, amongst a A-rated company, the best. Um, the, uh, the Royal Select is uh, very competitive because of the bonus rider roll-up combination, and in certain states, uh, like Texas, for example, I know uh, it's hard to find any kind of bonus products anymore. So. Um, it is available in Texas, and I know there's other states too, but um, they do uh, shine in a number of situations. So if you'd like to get some more information, I'll be glad to get it out for you. Um, the contracting, Taylor, that's done uh, through the online. Is that correct? Yeah, it's all – It's all. It actually website? goes to your email. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, you guys will send it to them, and it's, uh, yeah, all electronic. Okay. Very good. Well, we appreciate your responses to that. And I want to thank you for taking the time again today to be here and learn more about Oxford and Taylor. Uh, Much appreciation uh, for your time and information. uh, Very informative. And uh, we look forward to working with you again on future webinars. Thanks for your time and your information. We appreciate it. Thank you, guys, and thank you, Jim. You're welcome. And uh, everyone, have a great day.